Obviously, I think we have a lot of trouble finding an answer to that question. I'm reminded of a phrase that my mother used to use about all sorts of things, and that is, start as you mean to go on, which um, obviously is something where you wouldn't necessarily adopt one maxim and never change it. It seems to me that we were quite successful in the Cold War in dealing with our ideological adversary. And one of the ways that we were successful was that we were both firm and flexible. So it seems to me that dealing with any kind of leader who appears to be unbending, that leader too also has interests and ambitions. And these need to be identified and dealt with in an intelligent way that does not allow danger to swell out of them. But I do think it should also be clear to us, we govern in our own countries or in our own spheres, but we don't govern in all countries of the world. So the West needs to be very clever, I think, in dealing with all of this. And we also have to remember that people evolve. And perhaps what we've seen recently in the case of Russia, say, or in the case of Turkey, are evolutions that we read as being very difficult to handle and things that are perhaps not desirable. I think perhaps we have to leave our desire out of it and manage the situation. That sounds sort of business-like and is perhaps not correct because diplomacy is much more than just an ability to do business. But I do think that d diplomacy, good diplomacy, skilled diplomacy, persistent diplomacy, is the kind of thing that works. Because very often, autocrats or populists are craving attention somewhere along the line. And they need to be given serious attention without necessarily being given serious approval. So, in short, I mean, this is a very sort of British head girl kind of thing to say. I think it's um, wise for us to identify interests and see what we can do with those. With populism in our own societies, that also is a difficult one to, to handle but it would seem to me that what we've seen in the last few months is kind of a cry for help from a lot of people. And it's up to politicians, governments, leaders of social institutions, business, entertainment, all kinds of people to act in a way that suggests we've heard this cry for help. Um, and I think that I saw that was seen quite clearly in the Brexit vote in Britain. In a lot of ways, I think people were saying, we really don't like the way things are going. The way we're going to express this is that we're not going to stay in the European Union. In a way, those two things don't really have terribly much to do with each other. The way that we run Britain isn't, certainly isn't under so much under the thumb of Brussels that we can't make up our own minds. So that's my recipe.